Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga kababayan And uh, this is PSEI Recap And this is uh, our core watch list and our overall market intake for next week Alright, so this is uh, for tomorrow Alright, again, a uh, quick update uh, Yung PSC tools that uh, we have been using for quite some time has already been uh, terminated or yung app na yan, no? So, that is a big, big news para sa ating mga traders. Kasi, uh, bagamat we have uh, investograms, uh, malaking tulong din yung uh, PSE tools na yan. Alright, so, we'll be discussing yung mga possible positions or mga continuation plays na ating mga tinitignan stocks. And, uh, right, before we start all of those uh, analysis. Let's now uh, move on sa ating quick word from the sponsor. This comes uh, from Exodus chapter 10 verse 4. For if you refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow I will bring locust into your territory. Alright, so bakit ko ba na-share to? Especially guys, sa mga katulad ng isa kong video, there are a number, uh, maraming uh, verses patungkol sa locust and this is a signature uh, move from God alright so if uh, he is uh, punishing or or kinokorek niya yung mga tao no so ito yung kanyang talagang uh, signature signature pattern and move right so recently i was watching this uh, video uh, from uh, I think uh, Saudi Arabia yata yun if i'm not mistaken sa Mecca pa no there has been swarm of locust and uh it's very alarming no kasi come to think of it na first time na nangyari sa kanila and guys i'd like an input from you especially dun sa mga nasa middle east countries kung binabalita ba to so this is uh something uh sabihin, there there is something uh na mangyayari no and uh we are very very uh worried no kung ano yan and uh hopefully na hindi naman magkaroon ng talagang uh, pestilence and dilubyo diyan sa Saudi because medyo marami tayong Pilipino diyan but uh tulad ng sinasabi ko i mean para sa ibang tao siguro they'll shrug it off and explain sa science kung ano yan but definitely uh if you are reading the bible there are meanings there are consequences kapag may mga nangyayaring ganyan no so i'd like you to always guys uh, read your bible and uh marami kang matututunan no especially sa mga news special m ko parang sino so yan and uh guys sa mga nanonood ba sa saudi dyan ano ba yung balita dyan uh, is that a fake news ba yung nakita natin video or totoo ba yan right let me know your ano opinion Right, so again, let's now proceed. So, I mean, for the last two trading days, especially on Thursday and Friday, we were seeing a lot of hesitation. But good thing, uh, last week, uh, ba, we are very, very aggressive last week. So, I hope you were able to catch that uh, short burst momentum. Alright, but bagamat na there are there, uh, hesitation na nakikita natin, uh, we have gained 143 points we're not closing at uh, 7904 so we're 96 points short of 8000 and as expected we almost hit yung 8000 mark and uh again the, the kahit nagbagamat uh, there's hesitation we, we are seeing follow through no sa mga laggards like uh AGI URC and JJS nagkaroon naman ng follow up and that's good right sa ating uh overall index kaya naman halos pumalo siya na 8000 so may hesitation lang tayo nakikita and uh think uh pwede pang uh, tumaas tong mga to tong tatlong laggards na to and uh good thing na de- that they are currently recovering no sa ating index and tulad nga naman sa sabi ko ito yung critical level 8000 so we're currently facing resistance no if we are going to look at these charts, no? Medyo 8,000 and uh, it's decision time. And hopefully, masustain natin at least kahit mga 8 to 
or at, at least consolidation for this week tapos next week kahit mga A2 and that is a good good sign sa ating uh, PSEI because uh, that indicates na magiging maganda yung recovery All right, so I ran a survey I think last 2 weeks and maganda naman yung sentiment ng halos karamihan we have almost uh, uh, 78% na nag vote na they are hoping na and they are uh, thinking na magre-recover na yung ating market for 2019 while we have another 22% naman na they're, they're thinking na the market will uh, slide down no pabalik pa rin sa ating uh, 52-week low niya but currently uh, we'll try to see if yung 8,000 will will hold and uh, dapat no dapat mag-hold to because this is a critical level lalo pat uh, solid number tong 8,000 we're approaching 8,000 all right so ang ating move of the week as you can see sa charts we have yung ECP i think this is uh, on Tuesday no so I think for ECP, if you have not have the luxury to watch the market and monitor whole day, iwasan nyo muna tong ECP because as we all know, this is, this is for uh, intraday traders or yung mga makakapag-close agad if ever uh, nag-negative yung uh, sentiment of market. No? So, 26.7% in one day and nangyayari naman to kapag uh, halos walang sleepy market oh walang uh, masyadong paggalaw sa kabuuan na index ito yung isa sa mga stocks na nilalaro nila no? ECP again uh, if you don't have the time para panoorin yung market you might want to uh, skip yung mga ECP na trade na ganito right so but for intraday traders this post naman as a very profitable naman to so kaya gustong gusto din nila tong ECP Again, it's approaching support again if you could uh, wait and see kung ano yung mangyayari dyan, magandang pwesto niya for another uh, short-term bounce itong ECV. So that is our take for ECV. Let's now move on sa ating sentiment. And uh, for this week, we'll, we'll be neutral. No? As much as possible, we'll, we'll, we'll be observing and uh, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, reassessment if uh, the market will continue to do its A2 or A3 level or baka bumaba and mag-consolidate. No? So at this point in time, we need to reassess. And we're going to say we can observe because we're seeing hesitation, no? lalo na in last two trading days. Thursday and Friday, we're seeing hesitation sa market. And uh, considering na yung mga blue chips naman natin or yung mga index names, uh, meron na rin. Considerable naman yung mga movement, no? Tulad na ng JGS, alright? So, mga extended movement and you don't want to be uh, on top at matrap ka naman sa taas, alright? So, again, uh, hopefully you were able to, to catch yung uh, short-term burst, especially nung Monday hanggang Wednesday. The market is rolling and uh, hopefully you were able to secure some profits, right? So... Let's now move on sa ating uh, mga core watch list. Alright. So, tulad nga na sinasabi ko paulit-ulit, uh, all of the things that you will hear from this uh, recording is not 100% guaranteed. Alright. So, uh, yung actual entries and exits, kanya-kanya execution yan, and yung uh, allocation, no? That plays a vital role pagdating sa ating uh, market. Uh, you don't want to have a one position that would wipe you out all right and uh play very defensively right so on the first on, on our watch list tahimik lang siya no uh steadily uh going on an upward trend no so itong RWM and we we really uh did not notice na nag 52 week kaya na pala siya no this at this level nag break out but uh, currently, no, uh, I think it is wise to at least no, take some profits para sa RWM because with the recent market hesitation, baka mag-pull back ito. No? So at least you, you might want to, to sell no? dito. Kahit mga 5.40, 5.35, dito ka mag-aabang ulit. No? And currently, baka gusto mong magbenta na. Right, lighten your position sa RWM but this remains to be good no especially 
yung ating economic background uh, medyo maganda yung ating gaming industry right so alam naman natin yan and uh, recently nga yung di ba yung mga Chinese national nagpupunta rito to work on the gambling industry so that is our take for our WM at least for a retest no and lighten your position kung uh, maganda ganda naman din yung, uh, yung profit at this point in time Alright, uh, next on our watch list is uh, ang ating Wilcon. Uh, tapos na siya mag-breakout, no? Doon sa 12. And uh, it's currently forming a flag pattern and that is very, very good and that signifies, I think, another leg movement, especially in volume no mini pes. Alright, so again, uh, you might want to have yung confirmation candle muna bago pumasok or you might want to position na no partially uh, para kapag ka nag uh, breakout na naman itong Wilcon is nakahanda ka na no so Wilcon fundamentally strong talaga to and uh, tulad nga nang naobserbahan natin for the last uh, few months uh, out of all the leaders siya talaga yung nag consolidate sa top no halos naglaro siya dun sa 12 12.3 tapos 12 12.3 until finally Ah, uh, nagpakita na yung buyer natin. And currently, no, with its price, I think this is uh very cheap, no, at this point in time, pwede pa tong tumaas. So, medyo makikita mo, no. Uh, yung kanyang uh, price is nagko-compress. And as we all know, sa price action, once there is a compression, ang susunod naman yan, expansion ng prices. So, especially if you are intraday, uh once you see itong Wilcon being bought and mabilis na tumataas, you might want to ride that. Right? So, sa para mga, sa mga position traders, or at this point, no, it's a buy. And maganda na rin yung pwesto ng itong Wilcon. I think magkakaroon pa rin ito ng continuation for this week. no. So, malakas pa rin yung Wilcon despite itong uh, recent uh, hesitation ng market. Right? That's our take. Uh, for Wilcon, uh, let's now proceed sa ating third on our watch list. Isa pa sa mga nakita natin trends and isa sa mga talagang uh, paborito natin. No? Hindi rin halos nawawala to sa ating uh, watch list itong FGEN. You see, maganda yung trend niya. No? So, but I uh, think this, this level, no? itong 20 above area is a good accumulation point itong FGEN and uh, as long as masustain niya to uh, wala tayong problema sa FGEN no? so maganda pa rin naman yung uh, storyline nitong FGEN and it's one of the leaders no? pagdating sa mga index stock isa itong uh, FGEN na talagang malakas no? so yun nga uh, maganda talaga itong FGEN for trend following and uh, hindi ka masyadong kabado sa FGEN. No? So, mapapansin mo naman yung ating core watch list. Hindi naman halos nagbabago yan. No? Halos sila sila pa rin. And, uh, yun ang maganda eh, no? If, especially if may full time na trabaho ka. Ito yung mga position na talagang ano kay Kampanti ka. No? Right? So, but then again, no? Pwedeng mag-consolidate uh, muna to. Itong FGEN before moving to another leg, no? Itong FGEN. So, you might want to put this on your watch list itong FGEN no? so pinagbibigyan tayo nagko-consolidate siya above uh, 20 and pwede magkaroon pa rin naman ng continuation to no? simple simple lang niya kunin itong 22 or 24 itong FGEN no? but mas maganda mag-consolidate muna siya again dito sa area na to itong FGEN so kung mapapansin nyo itong core watch list yung talagang mga simple at madadaling uh, trade and hindi masyadong komplikado yung charts yung ating mga pinipili. Right? And as much as possible, merong fundamental reason bukod dun sa technical aspect. Right? So, ganun lang. Simple lang naman itong core watch list natin. And yung isa pa. JFC, tulad ganun sinasabi ko, nasa 300 pa lang. ba Ang sabi ko sa inyo, simpleng-simple yung 320 or 330 once na mag-breakout ito. Itong JFC. 
Right current level, uh, nagko-consolidate siya dito sa itaas. But uh, as long as ma-hold niya yan, uh, the Jollibee is still good. But this is the safer position. No? Dito ka mag-accumulate at least uh, maganda-ganda nga buying opportunity. Kita mo, no? pag-break niya rito sa area na to, dire-direcho ulit. Right, uh, if you have not been following the news dito sa JFC, left and right acquisition, uh, since last year pa, Smash Burgers, and another Mexican chain, yung uh, parang tortillas yata yun, if I remember it right. And uh, recently, yung mga Team Ho won, no So, do, so uh, ano na sila? Uh, saturated na sila sa Jollibee, especially sa local market expanding naman siya sa labas. So maganda yung storyline and yung price action nitong Jollibee. Again, if you if you're starting and uh, medyo hindi ka pa uh, gamay yung mga mabibilis na galawan, no? Ito sana yung mga pinagpa-practicean mo, no? Ito mga blue chips and yung mga steady movers. Especially if maganda rin naman yung development ng uh, Jollibee. All right. So again, uh Let's try to see, no? Kasi medyo nagpo-pullback siya. Let's try to see if uh, masusustain niya itong uh, level na to, And then, kung masustain niya doon, you might, uh, wag mo na tuma, wag ka na tumawa, dito ka na bumili for another trend following. Alright, so, mapapansin mo, yung ating mga list is the mostly trend following lang naman and mga simple. Alright, so, Especially, nung nag-uumpisa ako, isa rin to sa mga uh, stocks na mga una kong binili because very visible na, di ba? Pag alam mo sinabi mong JFC, alam mo na, Jollibee. And uh, alam mo malakas talaga. Alright, so ngayon, wala pa naman tayo nakikita ang weakness and especially pag nag-hesitate ang market, uh, yung pondo baka dito din mapunta sa JFC. Right, that's our take for JFC. Last, I think last but not the least, isa sa mga ating uh, tahimik lang. Which is, uh, mapapansin mo dito sa level na to, is, is past approaching yung break, break point, no? So, nagkakaroon ng constriction ng price dito sa area na to. And, uh, if you're skeptical, wait for the actual break, no? Dito sa area na to, lumagpas siya sa level na yan and then doon ka bumili. So, malakas din itong ATN and uh, on the longer longer time frame, mapapansin mo, napakaganda rin naman ang charts niya. No? So, at least, we're, we're currently anticipating na yung uh, breakout to happen at least this week or next week. Right? So, it's it is fastly approaching and uh, if you are a uh, breakout player, ito yung isa sa mga abangan mo, itong ATN, no? So, I think that's it uh, for this week. Medyo simple yung ating uh, core watch list, no? Comp comprising of GFC, FGEN, and yung Wilcon, ATN, and uh, right now, medyo ano eh, no? Uh, mapapansin yung market. Medyo currently ngayon, uh, almost pag nag yung mga ibang stocks, tulad ng food ng uh, iba-iba pang mga stocks no medyo mabilis din bumaba nag nagte-take profit agad yung mga tao and hopefully we're able to pass 8000 mark right uh, maraming salamat sa panonood and uh, see you next week